Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another process video. So today's layout is for day 21 or prompt 21 over at Scrap Timber. Hashtag Scrap Timber 2022. There's a YouTube playlist as well. And uh, yeah, today is day 21. So I'm going to do, it's paper tearing the prompt. So yeah, I'm going to do some paper tearing today. Or as you can see, I've already done some paper tearing. So this is brown textured cardstock here. And then this pattern paper is Bella Boulevard, Bella Besties, Freehand Graph and Dot Pickle Juice, <laughs> which makes me smile. <laughs> it's a funny name for a paper. Um, I've got a four by uh, six by four photo mounted onto a very thin um you know, frame of white textured cardstock plus tracing paper, which I've torn, as you can see, and also I've torn the paper um, uh, the, that's on the, the, the main background sheet. So we've got quite a bit of tearing going on. Project Life card here. I've already done the journaling on that using my Uniball Fine Green Pen. Um, what I've got on my little plate here is some green glitter domes, some wood dots, Puffy heart strip there, some washi tape here, some twine, baker's twine, three stickers here, the flare hot dotty about flare pieces, some assemblies required, and shadney wood pieces. So that's what's on my plate today. And then the alpha title that I'm going to use, which is here, is this American Crafts tin Tinseltown which is you know, a Christmas one, I've used it recently. And then the stickers came from this Photo Play Bow Wow collection, which I recently got. So yeah, that's the starting point. So it's, um, it looks as though it's going to be like another quite a centered layout, which I do quite often. And uh, I think we're going to have this here probably. What I might do, is think about where I want the photos to go. The title I think is going to go across here. Well, it is going to go across here. And then I was thinking of having a line of kind of wood veneer pieces going along here. I think I said before that I probably wouldn't use the poo, but um, yeah, I've used it on, I think I used it on a donkey layout, didn't I? And also, I don't know, they're in the garden, aren't they? So i thought i'd just uh you know had, add it on for a bit of fun we've got the dog bowl the bone the toy and this photo i don't know if you notice like the dogs because they're having like a conversation it's just the way that i captured the photo of them in the garden so in my journal i'm just saying i wonder if chester and buddy are discussing when they might be going for their next walk or maybe how long it is until dinner time so yeah i thought it was quite funny and then the title that i came up with chin wagging i was thinking like chinwag you know they're having a chinwag and it took me like a moment to to connect the wag to the tail thing so then I thought of chinwagging and I thought oh I, I actually thought I was being quite clever <laughs> coming up with that title and it didn't even like when I was thought of the title chinwag it didn't even occur to me like about the, the wagging tail of the dogs so yeah I, I thought I thought that was quite a clever title <laughs> so what we're going to do is definitely want that across there I think I want the photo straight and I think I want the journal card a little bit a little bit not straight skew if I want to try and add this piece in because this is just one piece that I've got left and uh, yeah and it's kind of a garden gnome so I thought it'd be quite suitable decided whether to have those in I was thinking of having those like not in a straight line but maybe when everything's down I'll decide how I want to do it Probably try and I'm not sure the title's going to fit in that space there. Should we try and see? I uh, I pulled it off the back in. I've said before about these foam ones not being very forgiving. You have to be a little bit careful with them. But I didn't want to spend all that time pulling them off the back in whilst I was filming. So I did it beforehand. That's chin. A little gap in between. Just a small gap will be fine think we might get away with that I don't mind if these go over actually so yeah I don't mind if these flare pieces go actually over the edge of that torn paper so I think that'll be okay we might be we might be able to get away with fitting that in there just like that yeah I think so quite like that it's quite tone on tone with the green but that 
that's a that's a look that I do like as well. So I don't mind that. It's you know, I mean, I could if I wanted to add that gesso underneath just to make it stand out more. But I, I quite like that. I don't mind. Um, I quite like the look of tone on tone. So yeah, it doesn't bother me that it's not massively noticeable. I've got my uh, green Baker's twine here, which I may I think I'm going to use on the two flare pieces there. I'm not sure about the washi tape. I might just add a little bit of. Maybe a little bit here or something, or maybe still have those in a straight line and add the washi across there, or even put the washi on top of the uh, put the pieces on top of a piece of washi. I wasn't planning that, but I think I could quite like that. And underlining that title again, which I've done in a previous video, or it may not be a previous video. It may be one you've not seen yet, but. I'm recording quite a lot of these videos for September and um, I'm not recording them in the order that they're going up so yeah there may be one or two things that I say that you might not have seen yet <laughs> Ooh, I quite like that now whether to put that on there or not maybe have another row of washi underneath I wasn't intending to fill the page quite like that, but uh, looking at it now, quite like that extra look. And also, it's a little bit more tearing, isn't it, going on? I know washi tape's not pattern paper, but it's still it's a type of paper, isn't it? And I'm tearing it, so it's going to be a bit tricky to glue those down onto there, I think. But uh, we'll manage that somehow. If we can get the ruler and see where the centre is um, for that piece, maybe. And then we can just space the others out around it, which I think will be nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. Well, I've actually already put the washer down, so I am going with it. And um, I'm just wondering about what I'm going to do down here. I'll think about that. I probably will add staples to this wash as well, partly because it uh, secures it and partly because I really like the look of it. So, yeah, two two reasons, really. When I use, uh, quite often when I use staples, it's because I like the look of it, but it also does act as uh, to secure things, especially things like washi that are not renowned for being, uh, you know, staying in place. I'm not sure I've got that lined up as I wanted it. Obviously, with the washi tape being torn and not exactly centred, it's uh, not going to be... Ex this is going to be in the centre, but these can just be lined up along here. Like, they don't have to be, like, equally, evenly spaced or anything. This is more of a gap here than here. So. Oh, I quite like that now I've done it. I quite like using a bit of washi tape as well, because I normally forget to use washi tape. Uh, stick this photo down. I think. Probably would have mounted this photo onto um, foam, but I haven't actually got any at the moment, so I need to probably rectify that because I do, I do like to uh, raise things up sometimes. Just went a little bit over the edge there with the uh, glue. Pop that one here, I think, like that. And this one underneath at a slight angle. I may do a little bit of faux stitching or something on this piece. Do I want that to move over a bit? Yeah, I think I do. Hope it's not stuck. Pulling things up again, aren't I? It's not stuck, thankfully. Well, it is, but it might be too much that I can't pull it up again. Yeah, I think that's better. I think I'll do it there. And add that one here. Just slightly at an angle. Do I want that on there? I think, I, yeah, I think I'm okay with that. And I'll glue this down as well. So this one's going to be quite an outdoorsy uh, design with all the green and the wood elements and everything, which I, is quite often the case with my dog layouts. Quite often the photos are of them outside. And this is another layout where I'm getting a photo done 
uh, getting a layout done the way I put the kit together a while ago because um, this I've, this photo was taken in March, so I just smudged a bit of glue there. Not sure how well this is going to stick, but we'll put it down now, and then if it needs extra glue later, then I'll add that later. A little bit of gold there, and golden boys. Not at all. Yeah, it doesn't seem at all sticky, but I think it'd be okay. You can still see the tear in here as well, so it's good. Not sure if that photo is straight when I'm looking at it now. It looks a little bit at an angle, but I think it, it have to be okay. So I don't want to pull it up again. Now then, do I want to add a bit more washi tape here? Fill that space and give the name something to sit on. I think I might. Add a bit of the green as well. This glitter washi just came in a little pack of glitter washies. Um, I'm not sure where I got it from now. I think it's the range. I'm not sure though. Um, it'll probably be in a previous video. Mm, okay, now I'm thinking because I've got this here, I want something here. <laughs> Don't know why, just do. Got to find the end. And the end of the roll, there it is. I think. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> okay, yeah. And sometimes I do put washi over the edge like that, but today I'm just going to line it up with the end of this pattern paper rather than the actual edge of the layout. And I'm going to do it the other way around. So I'm going to do the green on top and the hearts underneath. And I'm going to overlap them here so you can still see that little bit of pattern paper underneath. The bottom. Pleased with that. Did I glue those down? I did, didn't I? Yeah, they're going to take a while to dry though, I think, because they're on that glitter um, washi. May have to make sure they're properly adhered down later. Pop this down right on the edge there. I'm going to do some twine on that as well. I might pull those in a bit so there's a little bit more space for the twine, as we've got enough room for the title there. What I'll do is I'll add the twine first and then we'll work around that. I haven't actually pre-cut the twine either, I normally do that. I should do it quickly now. Oop, don't to lose that. My scissors. Got two lengths of twine. Same length, similar length. And then um, we'll add that to the layout. Quite a lot of glue going on there. Hopefully we'll be able to cover that with the twine. A bit this twine's a little bit um ragged it's been screwed up it's not been like nicely coiled so it's a little bit ragged but i don't mind that that's fine just have to try and make sure it lays nicely on the layout right that side looks better well i said that I quite like the this side with the little bits of the frayed the frayed bits as well down okay so i think we're getting there now definitely lots of torn paper that's fine i know i'm okay with that i think i always think with torn edges i always think of kind of like outdoor layouts really rustic sort of layouts although i do them anyway but yeah they always go torn edges always go really well with outdoor kind of layouts right i've got my dots here Wondering whether I want to add some of those. Uh, quite a bright green. But the good ones too. I think maybe I'll have a mixture. I might have a mixture of the three actually. Just maybe in a couple of places. Uh, let's think. Probably here. I have a mixture of sizes if we can yeah 
sizes and colour. Now then, where do I want another one? I'm thinking of putting one here, maybe going for it actually. I think I want to go for it. Yeah, they're the same size, aren't they? I thought they were different sizes. Um, take that off. And maybe use a large one there. Yeah, I'll do that. Large one here. And a small one of these darker pieces. And then I'm thinking maybe just here. Large one of the lighter coloured and then smaller one. Oh, they're two different sizes, aren't they? That's a very small one. I think I need a medium. Yeah, medium. And medium again here. So, hmm, yeah. Or should I move that over here slightly? If I can pick it up. That tear in the page. Move that over slightly. I think I like it, the look of it slightly better. Although if I tear the page, they'll be going back to where they started. <laughs> there. Yeah, I think I like that better. Right, put the title down, haven't I? Let's put the title down. And just set that gently. This one hasn't got any, really got any stick to it, the H. Some of them have still got a little bit of the backing on them. Anyway, I'll place them down. I'll press them down and then they're not too well stuck. I'll add extra adhesive later. So just to make sure that they uh, don't move later. Not too bothered if they're not in an exact line because it's not like a the actual design of the alpha is not, you know, it's not that kind of design that needs to that needs to be straight. It's got quite a lot of uh, pattern pattern to it and also shape. It's a very shaped alpha. It reminds me of like a western theme. Even though it's a Christmas one, I believe, because it's called Tinseltown, it actually does remind me of a western theme. So, Oh, where's that eye gone? Did I have an eye and I've lost it or did I just not have an eye? Oh, there it is. I can see it now. <laughs> you probably saw that. You probably saw me throw that away a minute ago. <laughs> there. Now then, do I need to edge it over a bit more this way? I think I might. After all that, good job that it's just lightly pressed down. They're very unforgiving, these. I said it before about these. If you get a twit, you know, like I've just done there, you get like a, you know, a, a crease in them, it doesn't go. But as I've already said, they're not like, um, you know, they're not, I don't think it matters too much. It, it doesn't take away from the look or anything. It's just part of that rustic design. They're not sticking too well, but I will do that later. Make sure that gets down later. Just press that down now for now. They're not sticking too well either. I'm not sure that's going to work. I might have to use a different... I might have to go and use my glossy accents to stick them down. Because normally they would be quite stuck by now and they're not. So that tells me that there's a possibility they may not, they may not want to stick. Right. Do we want to add even more texture here? I think we might. I want to add a little bit more texture here. Just there. I'm going to dot a little bit of blue either end and then I'll probably glue it properly later and add a staple if I can get my stapler into there into that point just add a little bit more rusticness to this layout there. oops that's not very that didn't didn't work did it got to hold it in place for a second otherwise it <laughs> does that it frees itself a little bit of glue down there Just hold it in place for a second. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, you can see the glue at the moment, but you won't be able to see that later. Now then, 
Now I've done that, I'm wondering whether I need some here and here, just like a small amount. That's gone a little bit, um, it's opened up, the threads have opened up a little bit, so I don't want it quite that rustic. Okay, I might add a little bit here actually, I quite like the look of that. I can definitely staple down here. And with it going on this uh, glitter, might not glue so well, although I put the I put a little bit of the glue on the uh, the top the top washi, which is not glittered. Slight might adhere better to that slightly, but I can definitely get staples across here. So I think that's sticking enough just to hold it in place. Can't see the glue now. It's soaked up into the uh, twine here. Press it on and try not to move it for a second. Just like it takes hold. Quite still want to see the hearts there. What I'm going to do is quickly get the staple whilst right, so that's uh, in place and just yeah, well that one is that one's moved. I'll try and grab it before it moves again. There, done. Let's see if we can do this one as well. Yep. And this one there, and I'm hoping I can stretch this. Oh, I've run out of staples, I'll have to do that later. Stretch it down and stick a couple of staples there as well, and then um, add a little bit here too. A little bit more interest. Cut a piece the right length, Small, just a short length. Scissors, yep. Yeah. I think this layout might be almost finished. I've already added the date. I did that beforehand. I used my archival ink in library green. I did also get out a stamp, which I don't think I've shown you. It's this grass stamp by Judith. It's a UK one. I've had it for a long time. I've used it a lot, as you can see. Um, I was thinking about adding a little bit of that somewhere, but now I'm not sure where, so I might not do that. Could have done it here, I suppose, but it'd be a bit random now because there's not really anything going there. Let's just staple these in place. Oh, I can't, can I? <laughs> just remembered. <laughs> no staples. <laughs> Sorry about that. You're probably all shouting, no staples. <laughs> Although you've probably got better things to do than remember that. <laughs> right, get that down. Grab my refills. In a minute then I think this layout is finished don't think I'm to add any splatter or anything like that to it just um the staples oh I've got those stickers haven't I forgot about the stickers today I remember the washing forgot about the stickers these stickers here oh oh maybe I could put one here and one here and then somewhere up there maybe Maybe, yeah, add one there, add one there, and that can go off the page slightly, or off that, over that pattern paper slightly. And then um, this one, maybe, uh, here, maybe there, just below that. Yeah, they're down now, so they're not coming up. I'm glad I remembered those at the last minute. <laughs> okay. Now then, get my staples. Yeah, so I think this layout is now finished. It's day 21 at Scrap Timber, like I've said. It's paper tearing. So we've got torn tracing paper here. We've got torn pattern paper. We've got torn washi. Um, I think we've covered the torn edge thing. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, just a fun layout of the dogs, having a little conversation in the garden. <laughs> it's just a moment captured it's just funny and it wasn't blared either so I thought yeah it's a nice photo to scrapbook so I've got my wood dots glitter domes stickers wood pieces flare pieces thick as title some um, twine on here as well for added texture and uh, yeah we're finished it's quite a busy layout which I like and um, 
yeah finished so once again thanks for joining me stay safe take care and i shall see you next time